All right, good morning, you guys. Time for your health check. Uh, let's start with an update on the Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine. We left you yesterday morning with a CDC advisory panel that was planning to meet. Well, this morning, that vaccine is still on pause. That independent panel is going to review data about those extremely rare blood clots in a handful of recipients. But I listened in on their meeting yesterday, and there was some good, healthy debate among these doctors. But ultimately, they said, look, we need more information on the six cases that we do know about and from providers across the country about other possible cases before making a sweeping recommendation. So again, that pause remains in place. They do hope to meet again in another week to 10 days to see where we stand at that time. If COVID data hasn't confused you enough, here's another rare occurrence, but it definitely made me stop and think. Houston's health department says more than 100 fully vaccinated people have tested positive for COVID-19. And check it out, their new data indicates since January, 142 Houstonians who either got both doses of Pfizer or Moderna or that single Johnson & Johnson shot still contracted the coronavirus. Now it's unclear if these people tested positive for one of the variants or the original strain, and these numbers only consider those who got their vaccine through the Houston Health Department. So after I read about this, I reached out to Dallas County. A spokesperson told me, yeah, we've been seeing the same thing. 85 cases in Dallas County of what's being called vaccine breakthrough COVID-19 infections. But there, the, that no vaccine is actually 100% effective. And so there can be uh, situations where people have been fully vaccinated and they do become sick. But the key thing to keep in mind, the highest levels of protection are for uh, against hospitalization, severe illness, and death. And so while pe people may not may get sick, they are likely less likely to get seriously sick. And that's really important because if you can get, get sick with just a mild illness, you can recover. But to be hospitalized and have serious illness or die, those are the reasons that we're really encouraging folks to get vaccinated. So we will hear about people that get sick post-vaccination, but, but by and large, they won't be as sick as people who, had, um, who haven't been vaccinated. So that was Dr. Julie Morita. She's a public health expert with the Robert Wood Foundation. She also worked for the CDC in the 90s. She says, look, this is another reason why masks are very important even after you're fully vaccinated. We don't want to continue this spread. All right, that is your health check. Let's send things over to